Marcelo, Pitbull Rojo, Rio Cordoba, Argentina, but now he trains with Entrum Gym in Tijuana, Mexico. Levy Marroquin, Monterrey at Alliance Alpha Team. Levy kept the same trunks, he's still in blue. Rojo changed his to pink, and he also changed his uh, ankle brace to pink. He had red in the first one. This is all style for Rojo. Yeah, style, style points definitely for Rojo right here tonight so far. But Marroquin is not scared. Came out with the big head kick and holding the center both men right here. You can tell that um, Rojo is a lot more patient this fight. Marsh. Kind of uh, both fighters getting a feel of the other part. Other Left opponent. hook from Rojo, quick. Striking is said is one of his strengths. These two actually have fought on the same card before. Oh, big right hand from Marroquin. Beneath the right hand. Buckled Rojo, but he bounced right back up. And like I said, Marroquin is very physically strong. He's, he was literally dumping guys over his shoulder with those takedowns in that first quarterfinal fight. And, and the thing about Marroquin is he's always around weight, and uh, he's always training all the time. True professional athlete. He's a true professional athlete. He never takes time off. Rojo with the blitz and goes for the takedown, pushing Marroquin against the cage. Marroquin with the right arm underhook, trying to neutralize the takedown. Rojo switching to the single leg here, has the head in the chest, but Marroquin pulling him up high. Marcelo Rojo would love if Marroquin took him down, but it's not going to happen. Marroquin is completely fine here. He's got a massively strong underhook, and I see no chance of a takedown at all. Look at the face of these men, how yep. composed they are in this chaos here. True professionals out here. Their second fight of the night within this hour. Oh, Marroquin with the takedown and takes the back. Yeah, what a does. transition. Gorgeous, beautiful. Strong beautiful. move by Levy Marroquin. Went for it. Going for the oh, choke. Going for it. Oh, that's, that's, Does that's he have it? How good. tight is it? That's pretty oh. good. That's pretty good. It's he's right on the chin. And if you're not going to get underneath the chin, then I'll just break your chin. Rojo that's what needs, he's doing. Rojo needs to push that elbow up. He's trying to push that elbow up. Good defense. Trying oh. to peel the hands and push the elbow up. Oh, that's so brutal. That hurts so bad. It cracks your jaw. It could break your jaw, and that's what he's he's looking to try to do. It, he's dirty. He's nasty with it. He's like, I'm not underneath the chin, but I'll just break your chin instead. How about that? Yeah, a lot of people do not know, Juliana. You do not need to get under the neck to finish the choke. You can literally face smash them and just crush their jaw and make them tap that way. Jake Shields done that to me plenty of times. And I've done it to people plenty of times too and I've had it done to me and it doesn't feel very nice. What I love, love, love about Marroquin is he's got that figure four body triangle on Rojo and that is a massive, massive uh, thing when it comes to choking somebody out that completely elongates the back and beautiful transition oh, to an arm bar here. Final Trying to go for it but uh, Rojo's slick to the game, gets the reversal, lands on top and now he can be where he wants to be. Second round of action underway. That is Levy Marroquin. What a strong opening round against Marcelo Rojo, the Argentine. It's the semifinals of Copa Combate brought to you by AutoZone. Marroquin, who came in as an alternate, looking good, feeling strong. Woo! They both with the reverse. Both trading head kicks. Marroquin buckled Rojo in the first round, but it was that beautiful transition from the takedown to taking the back of Rojo that surprised us all. Now Rojo here trying to defend the takedown, has a body lock. lock of his own. Let's see if he can take down Marroquin and show his jiu-jitsu and ground and pound skills. Rojo does have blue belt in jiu-jitsu. I want to see him pull him off the cage, go for an inside or outside trip, especially since he has those double underhooks, which is like one of my favorite positions. He's not being able to get it now, and like I said, he's having a hard time taking Marroquin down. Now, almost it'd be better if he would let Marroquin take him down because Marroquin is just so physically fit, he's having a hard time um, taking him down. Very interesting point. Let him go for the takedown and counter with submissions like he did in the first fight. That's a great idea, Juliana. Let's go to the fourth member of our crew tonight, Jen Sturger. That's right, guys. We're having That's technical difficulties. We can't hear Jen, but let's get back to this fight. Yeah, because it's loud inside <laughs> the Grand Oasis Kaku. Marukin has his head uh, stuck there in this uh, inside single leg. But uh, Rojo looks up to the ref to save him and say, separate us. Referee separates him. This is the second of three rounds. And in this one, Gilbert, it's three minutes, 
But there are, what, no elbows are allowed? Absolutely, no elbows, no unified rules. Yeah, we're trying to um, prolong the longevity for these fighters. We do not want them to get cut yet. We'll wait till the third final round of this tournament to let them go all out. Rojo bleeding from the bridge of his nose. And uh, big aspirations for Marroquin. He says that if he wins this tournament and wins this $100,000, that's not it for him. He wants to fight on the San Antonio card December 1st, which is coming up in, uh, what, three weeks? Copa Combates tonight. Combate America is going to San Antonio, Texas, December 1st. And Rojo with some solid rights. Yeah, big, huge uh, rights. And now, he, oh, did you see that? That shoulder chuck? Yes. That was solid. That was solid. You saw Rojo go for the tight clinch and yeah. a very good defense by Marroquin, rotating his shoulders side to side, using his forearms and shoulders to get out of the tight clinch. Now, this is a very close round. I can't really tell you who's winning. A lot of nothing going on. Tactical, people pushing forward. Though Marroquin has the lead one round to zero, who knows who the judges will give this round to. But that's beautiful. Like, seriously, he has him in the tight clinch. 10 seconds to go in the second round. We're in the Grand Oasis in Cancun. Combate America put $100,000 down the line. 100000 on the line. This is the semifinals, and this is the final round. Marukin still looks fresh as a dang flower. And uh, both guys showing a nice, nice sign of respect for each other. <laughs> I know that Rojo has a pair of camouflage shorts ready for the third fight, and he better win this round in a big, big way if he wants to continue into the competition. Bethel Luran, Juliana Pena, Gilbert Melendez, Jen Sturger, we're gonna check in with her soon. It's the third round of the semifinals. Nice outside leg kick by Levi Marroquin in the blue shorts. Little uh, karate flick of the kick there. You can see Rojo is putting the pressure and yep. trying to get this round going. He knows he needs to play catch up here and he's gonna need to win this round. Ooh, and nice beautiful one, right hand. Rojo has fought, I would say, higher level competition than Marroquin, but Marroquin with a lot of heart tonight. A lot of heart and a lot of physical strength, and I think that sometimes, you know, you guys can weigh the same amount, but sometimes physicality plays a part in, in, the, in the octagon, in the house. Absolutely, and, and Marroquin doing a great job. It can't get too comfortable. Yes, I think he's winning the fight, but the scorecards can be closer than they seem. Arr, arr, arr. It might have been kicked in the cup. Referee jumping in. Jen Sturger is near the howl. What do you have, Jen? Of course you jump in while he's adjusting himself. Anyways, Rojo and his girlfriend are actually huge animal advocates, guys. I don't know if you know this, but that's how he got his name in the Pitbull. They foster animals in Mexico and in Argentina. She's actually the one that dared him to wear the Cookie the Monster costume to come during the competition. Halfway through the final round. Who's going to take over? Who's going to claim it? Beautiful Who's going to advance to the final? Rojo going for the double leg takedown, and Marroquin defends with the wizard, but Rojo follows up, and he has the double leg against the cage. He's going for the lift, and, and he got him. him down. But Marroquin going for a guillotine, trying to transition here. The scramble continues. There's no threat here. He's good to go. There, he will be fine. He's got that shoulder pressure. He's going to dig it a little more, I think, because his submission game's a lot better than that. Ooh, there's some space in that shoulder. Oh, he, he tapped! tapped! He tapped! It is over! Oh, man! Levy Marroquin from alternate to finalist and the Monterrey Mexico is now one fight away from a hundred thousand dollars. Ricky Palacios. Let's take a look at the replay here. Head kick, nice punches by Marroquin. Goes for a sneaky takedown but transitions to the back right away. Gets a rear naked choke locked up. Rojo, too impatient, takes Levy Marroquin down. I didn't think that he was going to get it. I thought that Rojo was going to put in some more shoulder pressure than that, but I did see a couple inches of space from Rojo, and I said, uh-oh, there's some space. And at the time I said there was space, he was tapping. We'll come back with the decision in Cancun, Mexico.
Cancun Combate Americas bringing you 100,000 to a fighter in a 135 pound division. One step closer, Levy Mano. Estamos a menos 56 segundos de tercero asalto. One minute, 56 seconds, round number three. We have your winner, tap out by guillotine. He's moving on to the finals, de Monterrey, Mexico. Oh!